y'all, and welcome to Multidimensional Soul Podcast. I'm Courtney, and I hope everyone had an amazing weekend and have set intentions for an amazing week as well. Last week, I posted a public video on my Facebook page, and that video is probably one of the most freeing videos I'll post in this lifetime, perhaps. The video spoke about me being sexually abused by two two of my cousins while I was growing up, and it I just kind of came to a space in my healing where it calls for me to come from behind a mic or from behind a blog post, out of my DMs, out of personal text conversations with people, and have the conversation publicly. I, it was nerve-wracking. I spent a lot of last week feeling sick, not being able to hold food down, barely sleeping, crying sporadically. And when I made the video, I thought all of that would be gone immediately. And it wasn't. As soon as the video posted, I immediately wanted to delete it. And the feeling in my stomach continued. But I would say about 30 minutes after the video was posted, it reached one of the very people that I wanted it to. Um, Another cousin and the same happened to her. Same two cousins. And immediately that's when all of the feelings subsided. I knew then I did the right thing. And shortly after speaking with her, the outpour of love, people I went to school with, people that I probably haven't even had a conversation with in real life in years, um, sharing the post, telling me they support me, they stand with me, they believe me, they love me. The outpour of love was extremely overwhelming. The night after I posted that video, I couldn't sleep, but unlike the previous nights, it wasn't because I was just so hurt and angry or overwhelmed in a negative way. It was just because the love was so surreal. The 12 year old in me was so giddy, like excited. I kept reading some of the posts over and over because for her, she was finally seen people People got to hear her story. People believed her and that was paramount for her. And at first I kind of was like, okay, girl, you got to put this down and like go to bed. Like, okay, people are receptive. That's cool. And I had to extend grace to myself yet again and remind myself that 12, 13, 14 year old Courtney never got that. So let her like bask in the glory of that. Let her feel the love. Let her read the words over and over again as many times as she need to. And that was, that was the part that just felt so damn good. I, I'm still overwhelmed even now. And it, when I finally did go to sleep and woke woke up the next morning, I still the video was being shared still people the comments were coming in people were dming me people were so nice and i think i spent so much time especially from the perspective of a 12 year old 13 14 year old that went through that thinking people just really didn't give one damn I have just been overwhelmed since the day I posted the video. And I think I posted it on Wednesday since posting it and people just showing up in in a way that it mattered. And to me, at least, and there hasn't really been much negative. Of course, you have the people that are just trying to be nosy, the people that are reaching out to everyone except me, which I don't know how that works. And it's my story, but Even that little bit of negativity doesn't even stand a chance against the love that I've received since telling my truth and just how free I felt. Like the next morning I woke up, it was like I the breath, like the deep breath I took to start my day was just so different. I just felt like something had been taken off my shoulders. It was crazy because I, even in the midst of telling my truth in ways that kind of hid me and my face and protected people to so no one knew their identity, I still felt relatively free, you know, going through healing and I just still felt kind of free. Like, yes, I'm telling my truth. But this, this video was like, no, I for real told my truth. I got in front of the camera. I saw myself. I said things and I didn't protect anyone. If people knew who they were, then they knew who they were. 
And I did that without calling their names because it wasn't about them. It was indeed about me. And all of it just felt so good and so right. Prior to me even posting the video, I have I had one of the most healing conversations with my grandmother. And it was my intention to post the video whether she knew about it or not or whether I had her blessing or not, but to call her and have a conversation in which I got her blessing and she was willing to listen and apologize and even wish that I had told her even while understanding why I didn't, I was even then overwhelmed with like joy because I didn't ever see that happening. So everything just aligned perfectly for me to post the video and I haven't regretted it since posting it. I just, I don't know. I just, it just feels good to be seen and to be loved. And I didn't think it would have this effect on me. I'm 32 now. That stuff happened a long time ago, but it is very true that when you are talking about healing, you have to heal your inner child because the inner child still matters, especially for those where your inner child really didn't have a voice or your inner child was abused and went through things that a child shouldn't have had to go through. So I just wanted to say thank you, a big special thank you to anyone that has said anything that was kind, anyone that offers support, love, a space for me to, you know, come and talk to you, anyone that identified, because I definitely got um, messages about people that saw me on all levels because they lived what I spoke about. I'm very gracious. I'm so, 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 so thankful. Oh, I'm trying not to get emotional. That was big. This whole week has been big in every way imaginable. And I almost thought like I wasn't going to post it. I was just going to try and sit on my urges to post it. And I'm just so grateful that I didn't. I'm so glad I just powered through. Everyone just is telling me how brave I am. But it's so crazy because even in making the video and posting the video initially, I felt everything except brave bravery at all in any capacity. And another thing that was really touching is to read how people have viewed you or see you versus how you view and see yourself. That was big for me, especially as it pertains to self-love and remembering to show myself grace. People always see you so differently from how you see yourself. And to be able to read messages and get a glimpse of that was everything. Y'all gonna have to excuse my voice today. This last, this has been the most crying this week ever, and um, I'm really trying to keep it together. But if this is the good cry, okay, this is the cry of being overwhelmed with love, and I'll take this cry any day, any time over crying in frustration and guilt, which is what I spent most of last week doing up until that video. So again, thank you to anyone that offered kind words. And I do have to give a special shout out to a select few of people, I'm not necessarily going to call you guys by name, but I was just up thinking and I made a post and I was like, I want to buy a wish list plant. And I don't want to spend my own money. And anyone that knows me, you know I love plants. And if I'm being honest, my plants have been severely neglected this week. I just haven't had the capacity. My plant page has been severely neglected this week. I have not had the capacity, but I know that a plant nursery is one of my happy places. And I said, I'm going to start the week off at a plant nursery. I'm going to be intentional about this week moving forward because I don't, I can't have another week like last week. And so I just made the post and my sister was encouraging me to like drop away to get payment. Like how can someone buy you a plant if you don't tell them where to send you money? And I'm like, oh, well, I don't really expect people to buy me a plant. Like it was just, I just said it. it I didn't expect it. Well, she kept harassing me and she's a good harasser. So I edited the post and I put my cash app and y'all, it felt so weird to just put my cash app there. It just felt 
it just felt so damn weird. I didn't like the feeling of it. I didn't, I don't know, slightly felt like I was begging or something. And I mean, those that know me personally, I ain't no begging ass bitch. Okay. Like I, <laughs> that's just not what I wanted to do, but I did it. And y'all, oh my God, the notification started going and I boohooed cried because I didn't expect people to even extend love to me in that manner either. And and some people like literally haven't talked to or seen since like eighth or ninth grade when in fact I was going through what I was talking about in the video and they were sending me money for plants. That was so weird. Overwhelming. Like who the best kind of overwhelming I feel like I've ever honestly experienced in my lifetime and I am so grateful. On a high note, my week turned out to be very good, but it just started out so rough. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone. I don't think I'll ever say that enough. If you are going through anything, don't let it take you out. Be gentle with yourself. Be careful with yourself. And share your story. Do it on your own time. Heal on your own terms, in your own way. Yeah, all that. I am, this is going to be a short episode because as you guys can tell, I'm still very emotional. And I just wanted to publicly acknowledge people. I'm very big on giving people their flowers. And this is my means of a public space, whichever. And I just want to say thank you. You guys know who you are. The video is public, it is on my Facebook, and this will probably be the only time I ever broadcast my Facebook or my podcast. It is Courtney LaTonica, middle name is L-A apostrophe T-O-N-I-C-A. My page isn't all public, but the video is public. If you feel like you want to watch it, it is triggering. I'll give you that forewarning now. You are able to share the video. You can DM me if you have anything that you'd like to say, questions, or if you identify and maybe I have made you feel like you have a safe space because you absolutely have one with me. You can hit that friend request button. Ain't no guarantees. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I'd be real some kind of way with my Facebook friend request. Um, I have other public forms of social media. And I and I will also give another warning. I posted the video. It is very healing. It is very important. It definitely should be said. It is very prominent in black communities, what I'm speaking about. But don't think everything on my Facebook has anything to do with that. I really don't be shit on Facebook. I troll. I post exactly what I want. I say exactly what I want to say. No different from my podcast. No different from my Twitter, my Instagrams. So if you come in on there and you think it's going to be all healing, don't get your wig snatched back because it is absolutely not. My fuckery has already commenced (laughs) since the video. I just really wanted to extend an episode of my podcast to say thank you to everyone to let people know that it is there. I would po- I would have liked to post the video on Instagram, but the video is 50 minutes long. I tried to be as brief as possible, um, but also things needed to be said. So I can't post it on Instagram unless I break it up into 15 minute increments. And I haven't felt like doing that yet. So um, yes, that's where you can see it. The video is able to be shared if you feel like you would like to share it. Again, my Facebook name is Courtney Latonica. And I'm going to get into the plant of the week. This week's plant is a Raven ZZ. Raven ZZs can handle uh, different levels of light. So they are low light tolerant, high light tolerant. They are also drought tolerant. It is suggested that you let the soil dry completely between waterings. New growth on a Raven ZZ will come in bright green, as with most plants. And once the new growth is um, grown, (laughs) it... The leaves then change to a rich purple kind of black foliage. It is completely beautiful. And Raven ZZs are also air purifiers. I do have a picture of a Raven ZZ on my plant Instagram page, which is Peace Love Plants. I promise you, if you take a look at it, you will be in awe. They are absolutely beautiful, rich in color, and completely contrast from any plant in my home because it is the darkest plant that I have. And also don't forget this month's 
crystal of the month is still black tourmaline. Black tourmaline provides EMS protection. It is an excellent source for reducing anxiety and balancing all chakras. So again, if you do not have black tourmaline in your crystal collection, or if you do not have a crystal collection at all, you should still be looking into black tourmaline. That's all I have for this week's episode. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Peace Love Plants with two S's or Peace Love Locks, two S's. I am also on Twitter at Peace Love Locks, two S's. I want to thank everyone for listening and supporting this show. I'll be back next Monday with another episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Love and light. Welcome to the Music Jones Podcast, where we discuss music topics from artists to xylophonists, from hip-hop, soul, to R&B, jazz, funk, disco, to country. Well, maybe not country, but we cover it all. We'll talk to local artists, tastemakers, influencers, DJs, producers. We'll talk any and everything about the culture. Check us out on Thursdays, wherever you get your podcasts.